Why would you bust in? No knocking, no nothing. Aha! Uh -huh. I knew your pussy was out. What? Yep, Maya and Emily's wedding is in two days on what's his face's birthday. Richard? It is Lorenzo's birthday today. I don't give a fuck about Lorenzo. And of course, Emily moved in her stupid fucking bird. When, honestly, Sterling had such a nice little setup here and Emily moves in with this one stupid parrot. Like, where's the rocks? Where's the crystals? Where's the couch? Oh my God. We're, oh my God. We can propose to Victor soon. We can propose to him today. I don't think, if I give, if I give, because, okay, because Maru has best friend. She doesn't have girlfriend, right? Because I set her to platonic. If I give her a marriage shell, what will happen? Let's find that out today. We're going to give Maru a, a marriage shell. I can't remember what these are called. Is this a rainbow? No, it's not. I can't remember what this is called. But, um, because she's set as platonic. That's one of the mods I have is, is having romantic or platonic relationships with people if i give her a marriage thing i don't know what will happen demetrius is max rizzed out we can't do anything to demetrius and i don't care to do anything with demetrius we can propose to victor today gotta give pierre something maya let's go camping meet me in the secret woods after 10 p.m where are the secret woods i don't feel like doing this secret woods oh the secret woods are um oh the map looks so pretty it's like all the way over here. Am I wrong? No, 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 no. Secret Woods is right here. Have I gotten past here yet? I think I have. The ones behind the log floral. I'm so glad someone who plays Stardew is in here right now. Because me playing Stardew by myself, disastrous. Ooh. Hey, I was hoping you'd come by. Remember when I told you about the new project I'm working on? The big one? Yes, I do. Look at Demetrius eavesdropping. Well, it's finally done. I want to show you. Look at him. Look at him trying to be slick. Who who reads a newspaper in the middle of the fucking hallway? Follow me in front of their, do their daughter's room. He's so weird. He's like blocking the intersection. He's so annoying. Look at him! Look! Is he going to bust in? Bro, I always feel so violated if my parents just busted into my room like that. What the hell is that? And here it is, Mario's Interactive Laboratory Device Alpha. Or, as I like to call it, I thought this said, I could have sworn that said Milady. I was about to lose it. Or, as I like to call her, Marilda. I've been working on her for months. I was waiting for you to be here when I activate her. All right, let's see it. Well, here goes nothing. Watch this thing just fucking explode and we die. Wally. Greetings, Maru. Ooh. -woo. No need to respond. I have already predicted. Oh, this is. No need to respond. I have already predicted what you will say. Look at him! He busted- What the fuck? He busted in angry. No knocking. No whatever. I'm sure Maru had that door locked. And he picked the lock and came inside. Aha, uh -huh, I knew it! Y'all are fucking! They're fucking! No, Demetrius, we're looking at a robot. Oh, what is it? Dad, calm down. This is my latest invention, Marilda. Maru, are you not concerned that your dad just busted into your room? No. No invite? Greetings, Demetrius. Sweet Yoba, it talks. This is why you've locked yourself in your room for the last few months. Demetrius, she's a fucking adult, exactly. And I and I thought you were down here fooling around with Maya. 
uh, imagine you're with <laughs> imagine you're with your friend because that's what me and uh, maru are we're we're best friends right now you saw it in the thing imagine you're with your best friend showing your best friend some fucking robot your dad busts in and was like oh i thought you were bumping pussies dad get out of my room bumping pussies dad we don't have that kind of relationship i've been making this robot for you and mom Marilda's designed to assist you in the laboratory and and mom at the carpentry table. So when I'm living here, when I'm not living here anymore, it won't be such a burden on you guys. Excuse me. I am sorry, Maru, but this this voice is so unserious. I am sorry, Maru, but I do not want to be your servant. Oh my god, it's sentient. In the time since you activated me, I have been pondering the nature of my existence with the self-awareness module you installed in my neutral cortex. I am sorry to disappoint you all, but I must ask for my freedom. I've decided to explore the galaxy in search of other synthetic life forms. What? Wait. If you wanted a servant, if you wanted a servant, why would you install the, the sentient mod? Nico Balls, that's a good point. Nico said... He's a perv, honestly. If you had suspicions that your daughter was bumping pussies in her little private basement room, why would you bust in no knocking, no nothing? Aha! Uh -huh. I knew your pussy was out. What? That's so crazy. You could have knocked and been like, hey girls, I know your pussies are out. Just put them away real quick because I'm about to bust in. You could do that instead of busting in being weird. It's okay, Maru. Let Marilda go free. Your mother and I can take care of ourselves. I know you're ready to start a life of your own, he says, even though he doesn't want his daughter having sex, even though she's probably my age. And I've come to terms with the thought of not having you around anymore. Besides, this creation of yours seems pretty advanced. It wouldn't feel right to keep her as a servant. Maya, I'm sorry I mistrusted you. You've been a good friend to my daughter. Demetrius, get the fuck out of my face. You have not given me not a single good impression ever in any of the cutscenes we've had we've always been beefing in every single cutscene and every single playthrough that we've been through get the fuck out my face i've never seen maru so lively and creative and i've never been more proud of her whatever your relationship whatever your relationship if you've had a hand in that then you have my gratitude you were just mad because you thought we were having sex and and then he's coming down here and saying, oh, I, I give you my my word, my my blessing. What? Demetrius makes no sense. He's just mad that I wasn't having sex with his daughter. He's just he's just glad that I wasn't having sex with his daughter. Floral said that relatable moment when you have to build a, a sentient robot so your dad will treat you like an adult. He ain't shit. Demetrius is not shit. Oh, my God. And I just I'm ripping into Demetrius and his family, but they deserve it. Honestly, he said. I've never seen Maru so lively and creative. Maru's dialogue has not changed in the slightest from when I did not know her to me having 10 hearts with her and being best friends with her. It's always been, oh, I'm working on something. I'm working on something. My dad's the best person ever. Oh, it's probably hot on the farm. Make sure you water your plants. Oh, I'm working. My dad's the greatest person ever. I'm working on a big project. Oh, I like stars. It hasn't been anything other than that. These characters fucking suck. Demetrius is one of the worst townspeople for real. Easily one of the worst. Okay, well that was awkward. What are we talking about now? There's a few things we have to talk about, Maru. How about this? We have to talk. finish talking about this robot and what just happened with your dad. Okay, Marilda. Let's get you out of this stuffy hole. Thank you for creating me, Maru. I won't forget you. This town is, is so interesting. Look at her go. Yeah. 
Mario has never once asked me what my hobbies are, what I find interesting, what I like to do in, in my free time. It's always been about her. That's why she fucking sucks. Well, what do you think, Maya? I'm so impressed with your inventions. I'm disappointed you should have made that robot your slave. So is your dad okay with us hanging out now? I actually don't care about this at all. I'm just gonna say I'm impressed. If, if that last option said, hey, what the fuck just happened with your dad? I would have clicked it. Thanks, that means a lot to me, Maya. I know gadgets aren't really your thing. How would she know gadgets aren't my thing? She's never asked me. She's never asked me what my thing is. She's never been like, oh, hey, you want to help me with this gadget? She's just making assumptions. She looked at me. She was like, yeah, you don't look like a gadget person. Fuck you. You're a good friend. I'm glad you were here today. She just assumes I'm not into gadgets because I'm a farmer. Exactly, Lady Ruin. Fucking classist bitch. Man, and I came up here to see her too. Hello. You can come visit me at the clinic tomorrow. I work from 10 to 4. I'm not going to do that. But I can't remember what the marriage um, shell is called. Give me a second. My favorite bachelor or bachelorette. My favorite bachelor is Sterling. He is from the East Scarp mod. And my favorite bachelorette is... My favorite bachelorette is is modded. When modded, using the diversity mod, my favorite bachelorette is Emily. Without the diversity mod, just plain Stardew. Actually, because Sterling's a mod too. Okay, no mods. My favorite my favorite bachelor is Sebastian. Favorite bachelorette is probably Leah. I don't really like the bachelorettes to be honest. They. Uh, their personalities just just don't do it for me. Yeah, yeah, too, because I can also propose to five. Okay. I did not need five, but now I have five marriage pendants. I can also propose to Victor today, which is why I have more than one pendant. You just asked someone to marry you. Focus on them. Oh my god, uh, bitch. You know I'm polyamorous. Okay, so apparently I can't propose to people if I have a wedding coming up. Oh my god. I can get married two days in the week. What the heck? I have the stamina for it. What? Sebastian, hello. Maya, sorry if I smell like cigarettes. I mean, I'm not even going to say it's okay because that's disgusting. I didn't know he smelled like cigarettes. Is that canon? Maybe I should wear something to mask the smell for you. He he smells like cigarettes and does not use cologne. This man smells like musk and tobacco. Musk and lung cancer. That's what he he smells like. Oh, I have to give you a gift. Do I have anything here that you like? Uh no, not really. Here I brought look at how, how as soon as I brought it out, he turns to oh, he's getting out of bed, that's why. But I brought you something. I really love this. How did you know? I know everything about you, Sebastian. Just like how you know everything about me. As long as it's not Newports, it's alright. <laughs> Crazy. 